My name is Romy, an economic student with a busy life. One day, I suddenly got a roommate, an alien named Deco, who fell from the sky out of the blue. He claimed his dream is to conquer Earth, yet he knew nothing about economics. I should teach him what economics is. Uh, I'm bored. It's so boring. I came all the way to Earth looking for something fun, but now I'm stuck in this house. Eco, stay calm until I get home. If anyone finds out that you're an alien, you'll end up dissected in a secret laboratory. <laughs> testing, testing! The Do It All truck is here! Come check out these amazing products! Amazing products of Earth? What could they be? I'm so curious! What should I do? Maybe it won't be a problem! The truck is right in front of the house! Eco! Eco, I'm home! Is everything okay? What? Where did you get this? Well, there was a Do It All truck parked right outside the house! Eco! I warned you about being seen by people! I was worried about that too, but the old man told me something. Oh, you have a really cute doll mask! Phew! Lucky that man didn't catch on to the truth! You're right! I was lucky to meet an old man like him! Thanks to him, I got this machine in exchange for your exercise equipment! You did what? How could you get rid of my things without asking me? That behavior is not allowed on Earth! Oh, I'm sorry! It's just that last time you said… Romy, what is this? Oh, that? I bought it to work out, but I've probably only used it once or twice. I listed it on the second-hand market since it would be a waste to just throw it away, but no one was interested. It turned out to be a white elephant. So I thought it would be a good idea to get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, I appreciate you for being thoughtful, but I would never have approved of this exchange you've made. Exchange? What is exchange? Uh, I see. <laughs> On your planet, you can make what you need instantly with your superpowers. So I guess there's no need for practicing exchange, huh? Exchange is a process where you trade your own goods or services for someone else's goods and services. Uh-huh! The form of exchange you did today is called barter, which doesn't require the use of currency. Currency? Oh, you're talking about the money you like so much! Uh, <laughs> yes. Bartering was practiced for a long time on Earth. This way, farming tribes that didn't hunt were able to acquire meat, and hunting tribes acquired grain. So if the bartering allowed both parties to get the goods and services they needed, then why do we use currency now? The thing is, there are a few cons to this bartering system. For instance, what if a farming tribe didn't want meat? No exchange. And hunting tribes couldn't get grain, right? True. Also, to exchange grain according to the value of meat as perceived by hunting tribes, an unlimited amount of grain may be required. Also, some items retain their value even if kept for a long time, but some items aren't exchangeable when they deteriorate over time. In order to overcome these kinds of difficulties, currency was born of necessity. I see. Thanks to you, Romy, I'm learning so much about how things work on Earth. Thank you. That's good to know. Now I have something to ask you. Well, what's that? What is this for? Oh, well… You put the ingredients here, and turn the handle, and you will have chocolate! Chocolate? Yeah! And… When you draw a picture like this, it will come out just the same! You mean, just like the drawing? Put in the ingredients, and turn the handle! It's, it's ready. ready! Gosh, <laughs> this is so cute! Uh, 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 wow! This is amazing! It tastes better than most chocolates! Really? Then how about this? What if we sell this chocolate and make money? With that money, you can buy whatever you want! Buy what I want? Yeah! Since I got rid of your thing without asking, I want to be useful. Eco! Romy, you said this chocolate tastes good and looks good too! I think we will sell it at 5,000 won each! I researched everything before coming down to Earth! Okay! Let's try and see if this works! Wow! Look at all those chocolates! Ego, let's put it together and get ready! <gasps> 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 Why 
What a cute doll mask you're wearing! Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, you're right! It's Eco, a character we created! These chocolates look like that character! This is adorable! Please try it! Um, um, amazing! So delicious! How much is it? F 5001 It's a bit more expensive than what other stores sell theirs for. Let me think. I'll take one! Thank you! I'm stuffed. There are ten boxes left. Uh, I think we set the price too high. We should have more carefully considered demand and supply. Demand? Supply? What's that? Demand means people's <laughs> desire to buy goods or services. But supply means the desire to sell goods and services. Supply is like us having chocolate we want to sell, and demand is the people who want to buy chocolate, right? Right. And the quantity that consumers are willing to buy at a certain price is called quantity demanded. The quantity a seller wants to sell is called quantity supplied. The situation we saw today where quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded is called excess supply. I see. When the price of our chocolate is 5,001, the number of chocolate people want to buy is less than the number we want to sell. Right. In this case, we should lower the price a bit. Sure. How much should we charge? These chocolates are so cute! 3,001 each! Other shops charge more, but it's really cheap here! I'd like three packs, please! Thanks! I'll take one! Thank, Thank you. you! I'd like one, too! Thank, Thank you. you! I'm gonna take this one! Thank, Thank you so much! I'm so sorry, but we've sold out! Really? What a bummer! When there are more people who want to buy than what we have prepared to sell, like today, there will be a shortage, and this is called excess demand. In this case, even with slightly raised prices, there will still be people who want to buy. In a market with a large number of suppliers and buyers, when the price is adjusted, you will eventually reach the equilibrium price. Then the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are met. Now I understand. I thought I could simply set the price however I wanted, but I see that I have to consider both supply and demand. Right. But I'm curious about something. What is it? Why would the old man trade such a nice chocolate maker for exercise equipment? I don't think he needs a workout. Well, perhaps he wanted to exchange this for other items. <laughs> I lost some belly fat since I stopped eating chocolate. How nice! Huh? <laughs>